Hello, my name is Anne Wignall and I'm one of the authors of the Science 10 workbook. Today I'd like to show you how you can use Adobe Reader with the PDF version of the workbook which is included on the student CD. Firstly I'd like to show you some of the quick keys that you may not be familiar with. If we go to view and zoom you can see that using control 1, control 0, control 2 and control 3 we can quickly go to various useful settings. This fit visible here is one of the most useful because it instantly, I'm just typing control 3 here, it instantly gives you the largest practical view of a page. This will go from the typing on one side to the typing on the other side and make it as large as you can for kids to see in the classroom. We can make the amount of page we can see slightly bigger by using the view and turning off the menu bar. Note that that's F9 and we can also turn off the toolbars with F8. So if I just turn off that and bring it back with F9 and if I type F8 and F9 together that's the biggest part of the screen that you can clear at any one time. Just bring them back again, F8 and F9. Page number is here. We're on the first page of the document, the title page, which is page I. If I go to page 1, just type 1, and we can see the 1 over here. And if I jump to another page, say kids are working on page 41, then we can just jump straight to page 41. This purple bar here lets you know that this document has been turned into a form. And if I hit the highlight button here, you can see that all the form fields, these blue boxes here, are places where students would write answers in their printed workbook. And the magic thing about this is that you can write answers on the screen as the kids are writing them. So you might be working this with a low ability group as the students are doing the exercise in class or perhaps with more able students they've completed the exercise and you want to mark it with them. Notice that you can get from one field to another by hitting the tab key. If you write a lot of words in one box, then the, the words just get smaller and smaller. And if you don't want them to be tiny, you can just pick them up, cut and paste into another field. So ordinary text works like that. If you need to do some chemistry, and you need superscripts and subscripts, then the fields have been turned into rich text fields. So to get a superscript, you select the text and then right click on it and superscript, or, the, or alternatively, there are quick keys, which you can see here for the various style options, and they are the standard Windows quick keys. So if I type over here, capital O, I'm going to go control shift plus to get the superscript, 2 minus and control switch plus to switch it off again. So with the subscripts it's the same idea, AL control plus 2, turn off control plus, O control plus 3 and you can quickly type the chemical formula. Incidentally if you want an arrow for an equation it's Alt-26, and on a laptop keyboard it will be Function Alt-26. Let's take you to another page now to show you some of the other tricks that we've got in this document. Normally when you hit the Tools button in Acrobat Reader, all you've got is the comment, sorry, the Select and Zoom tools, but this particular file has had added Comment and Markup tools, and they can let you do some really clever things. So if I just bring this toolbar up here, 
here's an arrow. We can add an arrow to our document and add another one over here. If we want to label the arrow, actually the easiest way is using the typewriter key. And we can pick up what I've just typed and move it. And if you want to change the colour and the style of writing, then we'll bring up the typewriter toolbar and we'll ask for a different font and we'll ask for a different colour. And there you see it's changed. There's a text box tool that does much the same, but one of the advantages of the text box tool is that you can actually type formula AL203 in exactly the same way as I did in the earlier field because the text box fields allows you to type rich text or allows you to change the colour of just some words whereas the typewriter, whatever you set your typewriter up, that's what you're stuck with. The highlight tool down here, if I just use this highlight tool here, I can highlight selected text. And that's particularly helpful if you're using the PDF of, say, the write on notes, or if you've got a large passage of text that you're wanting kids to follow. The cross out tool is quite useful. Perhaps you don't want them to do a particular question, then just cross it out. And one of the most exciting tools of all is this attach a file as a comment tool. And what that does is it allows you to attach a particular file. It may be an animation or a movie like this. It could be a PowerPoint. It could be a Word file. It can even be an internet address if your computer is connected to the net when you're using the work. And when you double click on that file, it will just open automatically. So you can go through all your classroom resources that are on your computer and you can attach them to the relevant pages in the workbook and see that they're there and get there very quickly. So I hope that that has helped you to see some of the ways that you can use Acrobat Reader with the PDF file to enhance your teaching. Have a play with some of the other options and see what you can come up with. Thank you.